She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that She's a Mona Lisa So um, I think it's just so important to have a nice self-care night, especially after a long day. And so this night I was coming in from a family event and I also took a stop at Trader Joe's. So I am just coming in the house, taking off my shoes and starting to push my groceries away. And the first thing that I really like to do whenever I have a self-care night is to clean up my apartment and just do some tidying up just so that as I'm having my self-care night, I don't have to worry about clutter. So. I had a couple packages come in that day. I had some groceries that I needed to put away. So I went ahead and did all of that before I got my night started. So when I went to Trader Joe's, I got a few specific things that I wanted to include in my self-care night that I'm gonna show you all, all later on. So I really wanted to try to do this eucalyptus hang that I found. I've seen a lot of people do it and I've always wanted to try it. And so I found some videos, went to Trader Joe's, got like two uh, eucalyptus plants that were about $3 each. So it was about $6 total. And I cut off the ends and I used some rubber band to um, wrap them together. And eucalyptus is just really, it has a lot of different medicinal uh, benefits. So really helps clear up your sinuses and your respiratory system. And then it also is really great for joint and muscle pain. So when you shower, the oils release into your shower and they're just really soothing and really relaxing. So um, I just found some things around the house that I could use to hang it. And I take this string that I've been having, spool it around and just try to <laughs> make it work a little bit. So when I went to go hang in my shower, it wasn't super easy, but I was able to get it done. Um, kind of had to <laughs> wing it a little bit some more, but I really liked the way that it came out. It was very pretty. It added a nice little ambiance to my shower. Um, the oils came out okay, but I really liked the way that it came out more than anything. So when I take my baths, I love to have something refreshing and relaxing to drink. So I found this um, recipe for like this dragon fruit lemonade on an Instagram page called Black Girls and Trader Joe's, which I love. So I take this lemonade and then I add in some of the dragon fruit chips and freeze dried uh, mandarin slices or orange slices. And it, it was so good um, and it was super fun to make. It was really, really cute. And so if you want to uh, see the recipe, I will go ahead and put it on this screen She's now. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. So now it's time for me to take my bath. I love taking baths, they're just so relaxing and so. Um, after I run my water, I add in some virgin coconut oil into my tub. It's super great for moisturizing your skin. It leaves your skin so soft. I also have this bath bomb from Lush that I haven't used, and so I just threw that in there as well. I'll link the bath bomb below if you're interested in this one. And it makes my tub so yellow, and I love it. It's just, I love bath bombs. I love taking baths. I also love to light a candle while I'm taking a bath. So I sell candles on my website. You can go to simplyserenity.com slash shop and get these candles. Lavender is so great for relaxing you. Um, so I just light this candle and I put it in my tub and I just love to relax while I'm taking my bath. So after I bathe, I shower and I use the Sensitive Skin 2-in-1 Bubble Bath and Body Wash by Shea Moisture. And then I will go in and exfoliate my legs before I shave with the Magic Crystal Shower Scrub by Lush. Um, I love the shower scrub. It's so, so refreshing and it feels so great on your skin. And then I use this Intuition Razor. Um, and I also use a face mask. So I have this K Bella Indulgent Rose Hip Mud Mask that I haven't used. So next I will go in and do my hair, uh, just moisturize it and twist it up a little bit. I also plan on co-washing my hair the next day. So I wanted to stretch it out a little bit. 
So after I do this, I will start my skincare routine and I will start by washing my face with the 8 and one Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap by Dr. Bronner. Um, you only need a couple of drops of this. It's very, very strong. So I'll just scrub that in my face. And while I'm doing that, I will say my affirmations. I will express gratitude. I will pray for the day. And then I also have my vision board set up on the wall next to me. So you can kind of see I'm looking at my vision board um, and you're just continuing to say affirmations in my head. Then I will go in with my toner. So I use the Witch Hazel Toner by Dickinson. Um, and I will put that on a cotton pad and I will rub that into my face and get that all into my skin. After that, I will apply a vitamin E and argan oil moisturizer to my face. This one is by Pearl Essence. I got it at Marshalls, but I'll try to link it down below. And I love it, you guys. It's so refreshing, it feels so great on my skin. And I will just rub that all in. And after, finally, I will spot treat with tea tree oil. So um, I use just a basic tea tree oil essential oil, and I will just put that in my problem area. So any dark spots, any acne that I see coming in. Um, and it really helps to keep my skin smooth and just helps me to be really proactive about my skincare. So by this time it's really late, I'm super hungry. So I had some leftovers this night, but if I don't have leftovers, I love to cook. Um, I just had leftover this evening and if I cook I will listen to a podcast or listen to some music that's really relaxing. I really love the Insecurity podcast. Um, it's like a recap show of Insecure and y'all it is so funny. Um, and so while I do this, while I either cook or heat up my food, I will make some tea as well. So I like the Tazo chamomile tea. It's really relaxing. And once all of that done, is done, once my food is done, I made my tea, I will sit down and just watch some TV and relax until I get sleepy for the night. So that is about it. At this point, I'm probably exhausted. So I will just get in bed um, and just go to sleep. So that is my night routine, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more videos like this, more routine videos, please comment down below and let me know what are some things that you do to relax or do some self-care in the evening. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Look past that, call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back You be looking fine, so no wonder they can't match that Louis V scarf for I'm chilling with a dad Whoa, slow it down like that Just hold me down like that